Okay, what we're looking at here are two different charts. Here's a one minute chart. I'm doing some intraday scalping, looking for this to pull back down here to 60, under 60 and a half, maybe even down to 60 and a quarter. It's currently 61.05 in that green line. Let's take a look at the 25 tick chart here. You, it's kind of a close up of every 25 orders occurred one bar. This is very active. And we'll start entering the short sale here. And I'll try to find some little arrow that will show you where I filled. And we'll try to short a little bit there. Okay, starting to turn over a little bit. So I'm assuming that this will, I believe that this will pull back and this is an example of how I order, how I execute these orders. I'd like to add to the short position on an uptick or when it runs up. We don't have to short sell short on uptick rule, but here we go, 61 there. So I'm looking at two different charts, 25 ticks right here, you can see here. And the other one on this is a one minute chart. And over here we can see I'm short 1,500 shares. Average price is 60.87. The current profit and loss about $183. Okay, it's ran back up. I don't really look at that too closely right now until I close the order. I only look at what the stock's doing. And that's what I'd like to try to teach you guys. Order filled. Okay, I was a little late there. You can hear that voice, automated voice. And I haven't turned on the little arrow that shows where I filled, but it would be right about here. Main thing is, I look at this this chart here. This is a one-minute chart. And if you wanted to look at it from a higher altitude, so to speak, I can switch this to a three-minute chart. And it's very possible to see this thing down to $60 here. So I'm changing between a three-minute and a one-minute chart on these intradays. And when I really come down to execute and close, you can see this is going down, down, and further down. I look at this tick chart as well. So I'm looking at three different charts here. I'll go back to the one-minute chart. Now this intraday trading, this scalping, is can be very emotional. But if you keep down your position size... It should be just fine, and I'm probably going to add to this order here. Got 2,000 shares short. I think I'll do an order of 300 shares to short. Okay, I'm a little late there. Yeah, I'm late. Order er. filled. So that tells you how fast this market is. It dropped 30 cents there. And I'm looking at this when I, this tick chart when I'm trying to fill my orders. Again, you're joining a session of intraday trading, which you can call scalping, where we're making anywhere from 1% to 3% on a stock. 1% of a $60 stock is $0.60. Cents. I'm currently up about $0.22, $0.23 cents a share, looking for this to go around $60, and we'll, we'll watch this over the next 5 or 7 minutes and see how this works out. The MACD chart here, I don't look at that on the tick chart but I do on these one minute and three minute charts here the line going down faster would be desirable looks like this in our order for about 300 shares here I'm trying to find a good price see how I'm flipping back and forth to different chart settings I mean different chart windows I'll add 300 shares to this order filled Okay, let's go take a look at the three minute chart. I'll change the setting to a three minute on this one. I like to take a glance at it and see how it looks. Some 15 minutes or so before this gets down to the low 60s. Back to the tick chart, looking good. I fill 300 shares right around just under 61. Very active market. In October of 2008, that I'm recording this tutorial. I mean, look at that. Run up 35 cents in just a minute, just seconds. But the market's very active right now. Okay, this is looking better here. We'd like to see a lower low. That's good. That's a good sign. Sometimes I talk to these. 
Okay, I'll switch from a, this is a three minute chart right now. You can see right there. And we'll switch it back to a one minute. So I'm constantly getting different glances, different type of look at it. I'm also watching other stocks. Here's Apple Computer, by the way. And I have a bunch of other stock charts outside what your viewing window is. Normally I'm short. And I watch other stocks to see how they act along that are in a similar industry, like RIM makes this Blackberry and Apple, you know, makes the iPhone and the laptops and desktops. So Apple's looking real weak and that's good. So let's take a look at RIM. Starting to act weaker. RIM is tells me right off that Apple just looking at that, Apple is a weaker stock. This is real time charting. This is not a simulated trades. So let's take a look here. Short 2,600 shares, up 900, about $1,100, still dropping. We're getting close to that target price of just under about 60 and a quarter. I might start peeling off and closing some of that. I never got quite a full position, so let's cover some of that. Order, order filled. You heard that little automated voice saying order filled. So let's come back here. I closed 600 shares. Still got. 910 share uh, profit on that. Forget the money. Let's look at the stock. I'd like to close another 600 shares. Order, order filled. It's taking a little bit more of a dip down. This is intraday scalping or intraday trading, where we're trying to make one to three percent. And I'll try to hold on. See how many shares I've got left. 1,400 shares. So I'm closing 600 shares at a time. There's, there's the kind of numbers I'm looking for, 60-30. Let's take a look at Apple and see how that's acting. Okay, let's move that off the screen here. And I'd like to start reducing that position here. Order rejected. Oh, I had the wrong stock symbol there. Okay, we'll cover Order a little more. Filled. Okay, I covered right there some more. Let's see how many shares we're back down to. 800 shares left. And I'll think I'll close that in two orders. $7 commission, no big deal. Looks like it wants to head back up, so I'll cover them both. Order filled. Order filled. Okay, let's calculate how much money we made. What happened here is it disappears because the position's closed. You can see my orders here. Let's see the prices. Let me clean this up for you, make it a little easier so you can read. Okay. Let's take a look at some of these orders here. We sold short here at 6094. Let's go down, scroll down here for a second. Here's some orders we sold short right there. See this right here? 61.1, 60.9. There's my first order at 60.61, not a great price. And I gradually move in and open these short positions or open a position gradually. And you can see I stopped selling short at 60, 72, 94. There's 65 cents. And then I started moving out at 60, 38, 48, and 44 cents. Uh, not so good of price. So there you can see I probably made about an average of about 50 cents on 2,600 shares, about $1,300. That's about what I thought. But you're going to be sick after I show you what the stock's done now. Right here at $60. See that on the far right over here, 60 and a quarter? Well, it just hit 60.1. Let's take a look at the one minute chart there. And McDee's toward the bottom here. Stochastic's toward the bottom, turning up. So I was early on the way out. Not a big deal. You try to keep your emotions really steady. Don't get too rattled, too upset, too angry, or too happy. You want a very even keeled state of emotions. And we'll look for more opportunities. Let's drag Apple back in here. You can see it's flattening out and turning up. I'm not going to speculate long on this. I think the market's been really negative here in October 2008. 
We're October 17th today, but hope this helps you, and we'll keep giving you more of these tutorials. This is Mitch King with Trade Stocks America.